Hello again, this time Lenovo 730 Flex? No, wait. How is it called? Yoga. Yoga 730. This is shipped with the beautiful box. Very safe. Packaging is awesome. I like it. I've got my very sharp knife. Tonto Katana. Straight from Japan. Very sharp. Let's do it. We have a box in a box. Now we have Lenovo original stickers, that's very important. So we know that the, the factory sealed item. Yoga, very nice logo. On the front, there's a sticker. I like this hologram foil. Look at it. Look at the foil. Can you, can you see the hologram? I don't know how they did it, but they did. So what's in here? That's the that's the device itself. Let's put it aside for now. Let's see what's in here. I, I want to see the accessories. Ooh, very nice. Very nice presentation. That's what I like. There's something here. What is it? Pen. Should be a pen here. Do we have a pen? Yes, we do. We have a pen. Very nice. Okay. I don't know what this is. I think it will hold the pen. One battery and two small batteries. Of course, the manual. Of course. And the pen itself. QR codes. If you want to scan those, pause the video. I'll show you this closer. One QR code and the second QR code. You have a code here. So. Oh, this one is heavy, I think. There should be a brick here. Mm, smells nice. There's a power cable here, a pretty standard power cable. And the brick. It is not too huge. Not too small, but not too huge. Let's see this in close up. 90 watts. Okay, and this is for USB. No, oh, this is the this port. I don't know how you call this port. But it, it is what it is. Why this box is so heavy? There's nothing else here. Oh, there is manuals. Come on. Okay, now it's empty. So we have uh, something in uh, Arabic and English. And we have a network Lenovo. Aha, what's in the box? Okay. Anything else we have here? Uh, something? No. Nothing. So nothing else. Let's unbox this pen. I don't know why I didn't unbox it earlier. Pretty clicky. 
some kind of the novel active pen too okay click is it big it's like your hand bam there it is that's me bear in mind it will never be clean like this again never and let's see the ports and here we have a charging port come on charging port usb 3.0 with a, you can charge something with it headphone check microphone nothing on this side power usb type c hdmi that's what i need and another charging usb 3.0 port and yeah feels very nice i don't like the screws look 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 at the screws you need a special screwdriver to unscrew this audio premium audio from jbl you can see lenovo lenovo logo you can see this extremely reflect pressing the power button i have the fingerprint sensor set lenovo bam very quick very very quick of course you have to wait for the uh, windows hello recognition if you don't set this it will boot even faster closing bam just like that extremely quick this particular PC is very quiet. Can you hear anything? I don't think so. Even in full load, it's pretty decent. Let's test it. Of course, we also will test the processor. This is i5-8250. The score is 648. I think it's it's quite decent. SSD, NVMe drive. This is the model number. Can you see it? Hope you can see it. Sequential read 2,700, uh, 2745 and write 1,303. Total score, like you can see, it's huge. So it's a very nice drive pre-install for this laptop NVMe drive okay now I am playing in the background because I cannot show you the copyright thing 8k video 8k not 4k 8k look at the processor 99% trust me it is smooth it won't judge anything it is smooth unfortunately I cannot show you this copyright I cannot show you the video this copyrighted video so but I can, I can show you the 4K video. Now I will show you 4K video, one of my videos, which I can show you. In 4K, look at the processor, and hear the audio, JBL audio. It's not even a full loudness. Let me do the full loudness. It's quite loud. <laughs> That's just me. something else is this 4k no this is full HD also one of my videos Puppy. like you see the RAM is 62% uh, of RAM that's why I need to upgrade the RAM now audio we have a Dolby settings here sorry this is in Polish 
because I'm in Poland. Now it's turned off, but we have different setting, dynamic film, music, games, and voice. Let's hit the no copyright video. Now it's off. Let's get it louder. No, oh, baby. Dynamic. Movie. Music. Game. Now gaming, this is Tom Brider. We have 46 frames per second. I don't know, can you see this? 39, 40. Not bad, not bad. But bear in mind, if you go to options, display and graphics, we are in a, a bit low settings, but what if we go no the texture quality is normal so that's gets good if you go to high so let's go to the high no oh, we're still 35 frames per second let's take it oh yeah 44 not bad playable oh this is gtx 150 so nothing special but uh, You can see it is 40 frames per second is playable. Maybe you need 60, but for me, 30 is all. It's decent. Rendering in 4K. This is a Vegas Pro 16 version, very expensive program. It has GPU acceleration settings. Like you can see, we go to the video and we have GTX 150 in this laptop, so it will accelerate pretty decent. We have 10 minutes of 4K video. Let's try to render. Let's do it. Let's do this in full HD first. Full HD, 30 frames per second. Render. Let's check the CPU usage and uh, memory usage okay 100 cpu usage how long it will took to render 65 percent of ram i think i need to upgrade to ram definitely we need to definitely upgrade to ram we have only eight gigabyte of ram here i have the second eight gigabyte ram we need to upgrade this device but it, that will be in the next video so how long it will took to render this video? Five and a half, almost six minutes to render this in full HD. What about 4K? Change it to 4K. 30 frames per second. For 4K, let's see the what's going on with the processor. You see 84% of RAM. This will definitely need to be upgraded. You see, the processor is not on 100% because it's a GPU accelerated program. Well, sometimes it's on 100%, but it's getting a bit lower. No, now it's on 100. Okay, anyway, how long it will took to take to render this in 4K, 30 frames per second, 10 minutes video. Still going up. Look at this time. Still going up, sorry. I block the video with my hand so 15 and uh, almost 16 minutes to render 10 minutes video that's very really decent okay 
We have another program. This is Filmora 9. Also GPU acceleration, like you can see. Okay. Uh, full HD. So it will take about three minutes. So half the time, three minutes to render this view. I told you the Filmora 9 is way quicker than the Vegas. Three minutes to render it in full HD. What about what about 4K? Let's set it to 4K. Well, see, seven minutes, half the time to render 4K video. Filmora is way quicker, way quicker. Battery life, 94%. We have four hours, 48 minutes, but real time is about three and a half hour. So it is a bit power hungry. It depends how you use it. It depends on the brightness. What do you do? Do you watch YouTube? Do you only do Excel stuff or play games? If you play games, the battery will go very fast. External screen, USB Type-C. Is it going to work? No, it won't work. You need to use HDMI. With the HDMI, of course, it is working. Let's see some video. Very nice. Now the audio will go to the to this monitor and this monitor doesn't have uh, internal speakers. All you need to do is change it from LG to internal laptop. And we have the audio, so that's what it is. I like this video a lot. Come on. We have a little problem there, but solve it now. Now the pen drive. Pen drive, pen. It has this uh, thing here. How do you use it? You just put it in and you can place it to the. Oh, sorry, I can remove it. To the USB hole. But you need to place it like this. It will go down just like that. And it's safe restored. It's not magnetic, it's just a yeah, thing to the USB type A. Of course you can flip the screen and type it this way. It's way better because it's not wobbly now. Yep. Very nice. From the built-in camera, audio and video. How can you hear me? I think you can hear me pretty good. And the video is only 720p. This is 720p camera. Decent for Skyping and Messenger and stuff like that. Sorry for the background noise. There's a construction site near my building, so you can hear a little buzzing. It's a construction noise. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Conclusion. Is it any good? I find something which I don't like when you make him a uh, when you change it to the tablet mode so change it to a tablet mode like this it's not really comfortable to hold it those edges are pretty sharp so it's not really comfortable but other than that let me place it gently here because it's a delicate device very expensive i mean not extremely expensive it's uh, it's a uh, thousand bucks, so it's not like super expensive. It's a thousand bucks because of the GTX 150, which I need for rendering. If you like rendering and you don't want a gaming laptop, which is, uh, and in, you know what I mean, a lot of RGB, flashing colors. If you don't like that, this is a laptop for you. It's slick. It's not look, it doesn't look like a toy, 
Sorry for my English, not my first language. It has a pen, very nice, sensitive. The screen is uh, very reflective and not too bright. But for me, for my walk, it's a, it's a decent device. Of course you can do better, but in this price range, you can. Again, sorry for my English, not my first language. I'm still learning English. Sorry for that. That's it. I like it. I will use it a lot. It's a very nice laptop and uh, oh, now the light is not reflecting the screen. Again, very reflective and very nice laptop. Thanks for watching and goodbye. It's getting very hot here. That's why I'm only in a t-shirt. It's extremely hot. Especially with those free lights. Goodbye.